Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Cam. Uh, it's Sunday, February 21st, and let's talk some stocks. So this is going to be part two of the videos that I promised from yesterday. Uh, we're going to be looking at more electric vehicle plays, uh, specifically Churchill Capital Group, Fisker, uh, Workhorse Group, Large Towns Motor, Hylion, Aero, and Electra Mechanica. Um, so kind of more North American based companies. I know Tesla's in the other one, but uh, uh, the big the big name this week is going to be CCIV, and that's going to be the, the first stock we're talking about. So they've been a a hot stock for a while as a spec. Definitely been on a tear from ten, hit a high at sixty four eighty six this week. Um, so the blue was the the using last week's high. The green now is uh, using this week's high for a fib. So on the weekly still we're just climbing up, taking off. If you go to the daily. Uh, just this last week when we made the move on Tuesday, big, big run up Tuesday and then stayed above, uh, well, Tuesday the run happened, the run happened because we broke the high from Friday, you know, ton of buyers came in. If you look at the mixed volume candle, very little selling, pushes it higher, kept going, extended up to that 161 fib range. And then you got profit taking happy here at the up to 64 right so sellers came in push it down and then this red candle from Friday we'll look at it on the five minute chart uh, kind of sideways all day and then a, a big price move happened right at power hour right around noon causing a huge sell-off but you see uh, it hit a low of 50 32 which held this 50.3 low and it's right on that 127 fib and then also pushed it the buyers came in pushed it right back at that 78 6 fib so if we go to the five minute, just look at that Friday move, right? So power happens noon, 3 p.m. on the East Coast. And then just got this drop from basically 58 down to almost 51. And, you know, a matter of, this is a five minute chart, but I mean, it was really uh, faster here, right? So 12.04, 12.06, so basically two minutes in range. Got a huge drop, halted, got a bounce, but, you know, couldn't get back over that 50 50 uh, one minute moving average and then sideways in the after hours and then got a little upbeat towards the end of it. But the news came out this weekend that uh, there's some insiders talking that the um, merger announcement is going to be on Tuesday. So I would expect for this to have a big pop, be you know pretty volatile in pre market tomorrow morning. And then uh, it could be a you know buy the rumor, sell the news type deal where this thing runs into Tuesday and then whether you get the announcement or not. It's going to decide the, the next move for it. But I think a lot of companies are going to follow um, up on the hype of this. You know, like they, the, as you'll see in the other companies, basically almost all the EV plays last week had a big red week. Uh, so they could be putting out PR to try to take advantage of this CCIV momentum. Uh, so next we'll go to Fisker. Uh, just start the weekly on each of them. Uh, so this low back into October. Got a run up through November when EVs ran as well. And then a ton of consolidation down here in the $14 and $15 area. 38.2 fib, 14.4. Bounced off that on the weekly. Got all the way back up to the 78.6 as a retest. Sold off that pretty hard. Now sitting around the 61.8 level right at 18 bucks. Um, so if we look here just the, on the daily chart, this big green candle. So you got a huge gap up green candle on Friday. Had 70 million in shares, and then just for the four-day week, uh, last week, shortened week for the holiday, the the volume of this entire week is less than the volume of shares on Friday. So uh, obviously slowed down a lot. You can say, you know, they're taking profits or 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 whatever, but there wasn't a lot of interest in this stock last week, and the price couldn't get pushed back below the gap. So I I'm thinking it'll probably consolidate in this $18 area, maybe come down and touch this this nine EMA and then look to work higher. You know, there's going to be an area in here where buyers are going to step in again. Uh, I don't think like there's going to be enough selling interest to push this to, to gap fill this within this next week, but uh, I could be wrong, right? Maybe so CCI, geez, excuse me. Maybe the CCIV deal doesn't go through and that just it puts a heavy weight on the market sentiment, maybe plays this down. But for me, I think this is much more of a, a uh, bullish uptrend right here. Maybe get, get a ping off the nine and, and push higher 
for Fisker. And then next we'll go to the workhorse group, WKHS. Um, so I have, uh, come on. Go back to the weekly. So there's previous, you know, triangle here, breakout, um, broke that uh, descending trend line, got a big spike on the weekly, uh, set a high two weeks ago, beginning of February. Uh, that's where the, the fib is from. Then inside red week last week and then continue to sell off this week. Um, so maybe we, if we can't get support here at the nine, maybe go retest this uh, descending trend line. Let's see if we get a bounce there. But there was uh, the, the low of this week, which is 30.89. That's right about this these previous highs here, you know, 30.88, 30.99. So right in there. And then, you know, it's a pretty good size wick there basically a dollar and a half so buyers came in didn't let it didn't let it sell below that and then similar to Fisker um, you know this two weeks ago the volume was a hundred million last week 46 and this week 37 so those two weeks combined don't match this volume uh, so that alone I think could be a sign that uh, we could continue an uptrend find support here down in the low 30s and look to go higher and just here on the daily uh, you see some indecision right here, kind of a doji uh, on uh, upside down candle. Uh, opens higher, gaps up, tests the nine, can't can't get through it, sells back off through the 22. So we might be sitting around this 40, 34 area, maybe hit here, come down a little bit, look to go higher. But uh, a little go now to Lordstown ride. So I'll zoom out again, back to the weekly. So kind of broke through this uh, this rising trend line right here and this I drew this on the daily so we'll, we'll look at it better so it, it kind of is skewed here for the weekly chart but uh, basically have a double top on the chart 31.8 last week got up to 31.57 and then sold off really hard as you look at that candle and then this next week selling continued or this last week selling continued so if you move into the daily all right so did kind of find some support off that rising trend line and then we got a doji bar and then green higher so usually when you have a doji candle if the next candle is green it looks like the uptrend will continue but uh, I think right now just risk reward wise with these moving averages still acting as resistance that's you know maybe you go long if you stay green on the open maybe cross 25 you got a dollar range right there dollar stop and if you want to play one-to-one -one risk that can be something to play but uh, Obviously, if this rising trend line holds, we need to break these moving averages to get back up higher, get back above this uh, 27, get to 27.3, right? So we're right on the 38, maybe get back to the 23 this next week with some positive sentiment in the sector. Uh, and then we'll head to AYRO. Uh, so that's the daily, just on the weekly, long term. Um, I think you had to go back like 10 year on this one actually to get it. Yeah, so 28 high when it came out in 2018, down to 36 cents. Pinged off the 61 long term fib. You know, last week opened higher, pretty big red selling candle, but you can see still volume very low compared to last week. 84 million, or eight, excuse me, 87 million last week to 24 million this week. So, you know, but what's that? Almost. You know, three and a half times less in volume. Pretty big red amount of selling this week. Um, but you can see, try to get down to this 38 level, bounce off it, sit between the 50 and 38 now. And we do have kind of some previous resistance in this eight, $8 range. 816 right there is the high of that candle. So you go back to daily, you know, pretty hard sell off right now. You know, one day closes above the nine, next day closes below, and then we sink below, and now we're sitting right on the 22. So we'll look to see if this uh, this shelf right here at the 38.2 can act as support going into this upcoming week. Uh, but as you can see, the 9 is kind of crawling down, 22 is kind of flat, 50 is still rising. So if this $7.76 cent range breaks, probably look down to go retest this 50. And then last, we'll finish up with Solo. Probably too many lines on this one. But uh, so 
just recently just following the spike, you know, spike up to 13.6, pulled back. Oh, that looks like crap. Uh, pulled back. You know, I got this cupping action. And then just from the last two weeks, uh, you know, pretty big selling off. Didn't really like this $9 range. So we've had one, two, three, basically four weeks in the last six, which, which tested trying to break through that $9 area. Couldn't close above it. And then now we're all the way back down into the, the low seven, 7.27 7 right here at this 50% fib. Um, still low volume week, just like the, the rest of the companies. So EV sector was not a hot play last week. And then if we look here at the daily, uh, right, so we're, we're now trending down under these moving averages, right? Broke below 22, retested the nine, sold, sold off to retest 22 sold off but bounced off the 50 you know indecision on the 50 moving average and then now from friday definitely below that 50 moving average so i mean this could have some more uh falling going on continued selling and then obviously there's some a lot of consolidation here in this six and a half dollar range 6.66 this long-term 38 fib so look this could look to see some more selling off happen and uh it really looks just like on all these charts if you want to compare them that it's been pretty bearish in the EV market but I think with the CCIV news uh, there's pretty good potential for that to change uh, and then just how everything's you know kind of rotating in all sectors weed, cool, weed stocks are cooling down uh, Bitcoin stocks are probably still going to be picked up I'll have another video on that out tonight as Bitcoin crossed 58k but uh, I think it's just going to be a case where the money's going to be rotating and what's hot's hot and people are going to be uh, wanting to ride the the hot hand really. Um, so it's the CCIV news can can really boost the sector. Money's going to pour in uh, and if these companies put out PR, these things could get off running again. Obviously, I think CCIV is definitely the top top watch this, this week for these companies listed. And then probably the next watch for me would probably be that Fisker. So the, the first two in the video, but I mean, either of these plays can be moved, right? Just from solo, you know, volatile move in, you know, two days for, so what, right here, seven and a half up to 13.6, you know, that's almost two times your money in two days. So these things can move and move quickly and uh, should be ready to play whatever rises up, whatever catalyst breaks, whatever news breaks and uh, be ready to react. So that's all I got for this video. Uh, if you got anything, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you could hit me with a like and subscribe if you're getting anything out of these videos uh, that'd be awesome and if you want want something uh, let me know uh, I read all the comments and I do everything I can to respond and whatever Christian you have I appreciate it anyways I can make these videos better for you please let me know all right thank you see you in the next one